Welcome to a new episode in our video series, Demystifying 5G. In the recent video, uh, we discussed the sometimes challenging frequency settings and definitions in 5G and R, the different uh, rasters, channel raster, synchronization raster, and how they play together, how they are related to the different deployment modes that we have. And uh, from that perspective, uh, we already see that setting the correct frequencies to do 5G and R coverage measurement can be quite challenging and is a source of error. For that reason, Roden Schwartz developed what we call the automatic channel detection, where we basically use an intelligent algorithm and our scanner to uh, scan certain frequency bands that are freely definable by the user, uh, FR1 or FR2, so sub-6 gigahertz or millimeter wave frequencies, and looking uh, for synchronization signal blocks, trying to identify their configuration, in other words, what subcarrier spacing is used, and then uh, identify the SSB index, um, which are transmitted and decode master information block and so forth. So, how we configure that, how that can be easy, uh, simplify the life of a system performance engineer that, uh, that has the task to do network uh, optimization, we will show you in this video. So, first we need to configure the Romus uh, software. So, I already opened up uh, the workspace here. Um, and um, for simplicity, I loaded the 5G and R driver already. So we just simply click that here. And one thing that we have to do is basically set uh, the channel settings from um, these three uh, uh, options to virtual. If we do virtual, uh, the automated channel detection um, is enabled. We can click that button down here. And if we click that button down here, we can basically now decide on the periodicity uh, that we want to scan. It's all the ones that are being uh, uh, offered by FreeGPP. Uh, current networks that have been launched are usually utilizing 10 or 20 milliseconds, even if the standard offers more options. So for my demonstration, I'm choosing here 10. I could also enable 20 as an example. And then I have here the frequency bands um, that I can uh, do an automatic channel detection on. And since I have my uh, down converter here, that supports, for instance, a 28 gigahertz band. I'm choosing here N261, which is actually the 28 gigahertz band in the United States. So if you go back to software, just click that, hit OK, um, and OK. Then you will see that here on our 5G and R driver, nothing has changed. Um, to visualize the automatic channel detection, I'm basically adding a new viewing area and have loaded the ACD view, which I find under view a basic view and then ACD. And you see here, um, it shows me already the band and the possible cases, cases D and E. e uh, D is 120 kilohertz, subcarrier spacing 40 SSB, E is 240. And my algorithm is intelligent enough to figure that out. What's the base station? Well, again, I'm using here the SMW 200A vector signal generator to do that, generating a 100 megahertz carrier at uh, a 28 gigahertz frequency following the NRARFCN uh, channel raster definition that we discussed uh, in the previous video. And now my uh, automatic channel detection uh, is trying to find that particular uh, signal and go back to the Roma software, choose measurement start, we save the file, and you will see immediately the spectrum is done and voila, I already found my SSB. I have done nothing, I didn't set any frequency settings, I didn't have to play with those to find the block, so I'm basically now enabled to measure, and if we now go back to our 5G and R uh, driver, then you clearly see here uh, my measurement is going on. Um, I'm detecting 16 SSB indices, I'm detecting that at a certain frequency, um, an NAR, RFC and channel number, so this configuration um, uh, uh, is uh, as a uh, real network deployment would be. And I think we showed you that with very simple um, configurations, a few clicks, you can configure Roden Schwartz test measurement solution for 5G and R uh, coverage measurements uh, very quickly to identify uh, these 5G and R signals and find the SSBs with their correct configuration. 